Hey guys, this is Russ Brennan, or Russ Brus here. I have a 25 minute timer set. We're going to continue where we were studying. Studying. So let's get on with it nonetheless. Let me see. Let me get the page 37, 34. The pH scale. Where's it at? pH scale. There you go. I have a maturity of what it is. Acid and base. I'll put it right now. From pH one to six is acidic comparison eight to fourteen is basic. Unless I flip it, yeah. Battery acid, gastric juice, that type of thing. Seven, pure water, neutral. Increasingly basic. Increasingly acidic. Perfect. That's in a nutshell of what it is. So let's continue down. So we're going to the 3.1 now. I'll already get this printed. Really? Never mind, it's okay, it's all cool. So we go to 3.1. I feel like I'm just going to buy the textbook because, yeah, it is a hassle. No kidding. You get it. Concept 3.1. I, I like this is more specific. 44 to 48. Uh, come on. Does the I uh, no no I'm just going to do the font here. Function function configuration. How do I move it? Because each atom is different. That's how I assume. Hmm. Um, the timer alarms alarms. So, electronic configuration. From above, too. Which uploads the electronic configuration, the configuration carbon results. In diagrams, depending on its partners, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. These would result in creating different forms. An example is carbon dioxide. Here, let me pull this up as well. 
hope it uploads. But yeah, at least we can refer to our notes. So let's go to 3.4 to 3.C. Taking the same number of carbon atoms. Okay. Branching and dull bond position. Huh. What is this related to? It could be also results into evolution, how things result in being different, the branching, different species, different versions. Variations of this. Exhibited of 3.4b and 3.4c are the result of an evolution hybrid. It gives the differences. adjustability of the result in this substance. This is really fun doing it while recording because I can always I can refer to this. I can see how my process of my thoughts were when I when I do this now, I hope this helps. Oh, oops. Let me. There you go. Perfect. And then I'll show the picture right here. See main functional groups. I think involved in chemical reactions. Definition of functional groups. So they're like directly involved. Groups that are directly involved in chemical reactions. Meaning they are not spectator ions. You could say, per se, they're participating ions. Participating ions. It's interesting. No kidding. Example estrogen, testosterone, so on and so forth. I'll even work on it with Khan Academy. We're slowly getting there. No doubt. Yeah, that should be about it. And we'll be almost done with our first detailed reading guide.